in my mid-thirties. I've made it through the tumultuous teen years and for me, equally unsettling twenties. To be settled and content was something that I ultimately craved. However, there was always a conflict between what I thought would make me happy and what actually makes me happy. In my younger days, I thought or believed, or most probably was conditioned to want an exciting life, chasing after ambitions, climbing a career ladder, having things like a nice car and a big house. I must admit, the idea of having a big house absolutely horrifies me now. I thought I had to be interesting, extroverted and attractive for people to like me. I thought all of this would make me happy. I was very wrong. By chasing these ideals, I ended up with low self-esteem, low self-worth, and I was not a happy person. This is because I was not being honest with myself. Gradually, as I got older, I became more and more aware of those things that actually brought me contentment. I stopped and made time to listen to myself, to my true self, to my natural self. Forgetting social influences, I realised that I am actually an introverted person, someone who needs a lot of time alone and at times is quite shy. I realised I don't hold stock in how successful or how beautiful someone is. If you have a nice car, big house, good career, I am much more interested in content of character. So why should I put these pressures on myself to be something that I do not find laudable in others? What I do enjoy what actually brings me happiness is being outdoors regardless of the weather or seasons, running barefoot on freshly mowed grass, having dirt under my fingernails, watching insects and their habits, hiding in small cosy spaces with a good book, Silence and quiet when I need it. Laughter and jollity when I need it. Walking anywhere and everywhere. Having less money and more time. Being in the natural world and with animals. Obsessing over medieval history. Growing my own vegetables and eating them. Every day I'm learning that it's okay to be myself with all my occasional shyness, nonsensical sentences, daydreamy brain and sometimes unusual interests, regardless of what society at large thinks. Learning that it's okay to just be yourself, regardless of all those things people tell you you must have or be in order to be valued, is an ongoing challenge. But every day it gets a little easier, and I hope it can for you.
Hello everyone, it's really nice to talk to you again. I've been a bit quiet the last couple of weeks. I've just been feeling a little bit more introverted than normal, so I've gone back into a bit of a shy mode. I've actually found by doing these videos and being honest with myself and doing who I am and who I am with you, I've met and talked to so many similar like-minded people and it's very comforting to know that there are other people out there with the same points of view as you, with the same priorities as you and the same trains of thought as you. So, so it's been lovely to meet you all. I just wanted to talk a little bit further on the things I discussed in this video. Um, there was a time where I would absolutely not be seen without makeup on, my hair would be straightened, I would overly make myself up because I didn't have the self-confidence to go out with no makeup on. Um, and I didn't have the confidence to just let my hair be as it was naturally. What I've found as I've got older is that actually being yourself is the best filter to find your people. And it just made me think that if you have dreadlocks for example and some people don't like it, they are not the people for you. And you've immediately, by having your hair in that way, the way that you want it, you're immediately filtering out people who aren't right for you. Similarly, if you're really into studying advanced mathematics in your spare time as a hobby, some people might think you're a geek. And again, they are not your people. So by being yourself, by having these interests, you are going to not have to give so much of your time to people who don't get you. Which is why I think it's so important to be yourself as much as possible. Now this may seem like a really shallow thing to bring up and I agree with you, but a few years ago I decided to let my hair grow naturally. So naturally I have curly, wavy, pretty wild hair that I spent a good 20 plus years straightening, sometimes straightening to then curl it, straightening to put rollers in. Honestly, the damage I did to my hair was unbelievable. That was all part of me denying who I was. I was born in the 80s and in the 90s and 2000s, it was incredibly fashionable to have poker straight hair and I thought in order to be attractive, in order to be liked by other people, I had to have straight hair. It didn't help that I obviously have a weird recessive gene because neither my mum nor my dad have red hair or have curly hair. So neither of them really knew what to do with it. And then a few years ago, I just thought, my hair's naturally curly, why, why am I spending all this time straightening and damaging and ruining my hair? And it was part of the journey to coming back to myself, back to who I am and doing so unashamedly. It has helped that there is a massive curly hair movement at the moment, which is, oh, if it had existed when I was a teenager, I'm sure it would have made my self-confidence so much better. I can't help my hair being curly. It's actually a little bit straighter at the moment because um, we went to a medieval festival at the weekend called the Locks with Joust. Oh, it is just heaven. The minute you walk in there, you are in a completely different world. You have literally stepped into medieval England and everything is in theme. All the stores are in theme. Even the toilets are in theme. There's medieval music, medieval cooking, reenactments. I could go on about this for hours, but it, going to this last year, which was our first year, was literally like a dream come true. So I had to, um, straighten my hair ish because I was doing plaits and I can't plait my hair when it's curly because it's just a giant tangle. <laughs> so <laughs> let's move aside all the conversation about my hair. That is all part and parcel of me being me and it being okay to be me. And similarly for you, I feel it's so important to find your own natural beauty. As I said earlier, I feel like 
if you're at least honest with yourself, you filter out the people who maybe aren't aren't your people, aren't worth your time. I just really want you to be confident in yourself and the way you are because oh, you're unique and that's it. There are so many interesting things about you that you can share with the world and you shouldn't hide. So yeah, we're just kind of leaving this vlog on a more positive note today. As I've said, I've met so many lovely people through this channel and so many other people with similar interests. I really enjoyed meeting you all and I really look forward to hearing from you again. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.